Hello. Hello. Hi! So what we're be gonna be doing tonight is we are gonna be making this little guy right here. And I wish I could tilt him a little bit more than that. I can tilt him to right about there. We are gonna be water marbling glass with nail polish. Um, and then we're gonna be turning them into little reed diffusers for um, your room. So right now this one was in our bathroom. Mm, I need to put more essential oils in there, but I have peppermint and a little bit of lemon and a little bit of lavender in there just to make it kind of really soothing, but also uplifting, kind of spa-like. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna go over kind of the supplies again, and then we'll kind of walk through our technique a little bit, and then we will get started. Water marbling glass bottles. The best part about this is you can do the same technique on your nails. You can, because nail polish, you can do the same technique on, um, on tile. Uh, like ceramics, so like a mug or a bowl. It isn't food safe, so you can't put it on the edge. And it's usually hand wash if you want to do it on a mug, um, but it works very well on glass, obviously. It works really well on ceramics. Um, we're gonna see how it works on colored glass. And yeah, so you need a glass bottle of some kind for this project. Uh, this one I got at Target just today in the dollar section for like three dollars and then i got this one at michael's for like a dollar 99 maybe still got a little stick on the bottom and then i got this one from michael's as well for i think maybe this one was a dollar 50 and this one's a dollar 99 they're all under two dollars um so three dollars for this one two dollars this guy was under two dollars as well uh, you will need reed diffuser sticks. I got these at Michael's as well. You can get natural ones. They have brown ones. They have swirly ones if you want to be fancy. Or you can get uh, bamboo skewers from the grocery store. Uh, and if you don't want them to be pokey like a toothpick, you just cut the tops and the bottoms off. And then you're set with your reeds. So again, this is all really, really cheap. The most expensive uh, thing was this. This was ten dollars, but um, avocado oil, almond oil, olive oil, uh, coconut refractionated coconut oil, so it doesn't form back into a solid. Any of those neutral oils works. Uh, I got this at my grocery store. They have a little health section with all of the essential oils in this, but you can definitely find. Um, like avocado grapeseed oil is also good. You can find that in, in your grocery store. Um, but I got almond oil because it does have a slight almondy scent to it, which I felt like helped better than like an olive scent. And then you need essential oils. This is my uh, nail polish collection. And you can tell by looking at these nail polishes how often I paint my nails. Not often. But this over here, I don't even know if you can see, this and all of this, Ugh. my essential oil collection. I like essential oils. I pick them up everywhere I can. Um, this is my favorite brand though. It's called Now. You can get it on Amazon, but Now Essential Oils, uh, same brand as my almond oil. It It's just my favorite. It's really cheap, uh, but still good quality. The other one is the Aura Acacia. Uh, brand that's a common brand to find and then the last thing that's like super pertinent that you need nail polish whatever uh, you want to use I got like the cheapest these ones from Sally Hansen were like a dollar ninety nine I know that the hard as nails extreme wear ones are super super inexpensive I have when I used to paint my nails all the time I have a lot of Essie which is like my favorite brand but they're like seven dollars or more for a bottle and that's just a lot of money for something you just take off of your nails after a few days so that's the last thing that you need as far as like tools to make your life a lot easier i'm using charlie's paint tray today but some kind of thing to cover your work surface is good you need a container full of room temperature water or as long as it's not freezing cold or super hot room temperature water and make sure it's something that you're not gonna ever use again because nail polish, as you can see, is gonna get all over inside this thing and it is a pain in the butt to get out. Uh, helpful tools, popsicle sticks, 
toothpicks, plastic knives, plastic spoons, anything like that um, is helpful, but you know how I feel about plastic. So try to use the popsicle sticks if you can. And that is it. Um, are we ready to try? Are we ready to get started? I think I'm ready. Paper towels, nail polish remover if you have it, because inevitably you're gonna make a mistake. <laughs> Let's just be real with ourselves, we make mistakes. So the first thing that we wanna do is pick your item, and I think I'm gonna do this large one first, and this is going to be for my art, for my art studio, my photography studio. Um, so we're gonna do really calming scents inside here, so that way uh, parents and babies, they can just relax as soon as they walk into the studio. We're gonna do this little guy for somewhere in my house. This one's in our bathroom currently. Maybe this one will go in our guest bathroom or my office. I might do one in my office, because that's the only place I don't have like candles or diffusers. And then this uh, is just gonna be a soap pump bottle, and I'm just gonna try at the very end, maybe white or something like that on it and see how it turns out. I also have some uh, craft paper over here that was left over from some Amazon packaging to put my items by the dry. All right, so first thing is that you want to pick out which colors you want to do, and I would recommend doing at least two colors. Um, you could do, let's see, this one has four. I did white, blue, gray, and a muted green on this one. You could do one, you just don't get that marbly effect. It looks more like watercolor, which is still super cool, which is what I might just do on this one. Um, Cause I think having some white come up on it might look really cool. I think we're gonna do three colors for this guy. And our studio has a lot of white in it. Our favorite color, my friend and I like a mint. I don't really have a mint color. So we might go for this green. You might go for a white, a green, and like a bright blue. Ooh, no, this is mint. Let's do mint. All right, so we're gonna do white, mint, and green. And similar if you did the acrylic pour, I'm just gonna pour some nail polish into your bowl of room temperature water. I have it filled pretty, pretty full because I want it to be deep enough to dip about halfway of my bottle. And this is, and that's technically my tallest bottle, but this is the tallest one that I prepared for. <laughs> so you're just gonna pour, you wanna pour slowly, cause it will start, if you pour too fast or too high, it will sink to the bottom, which is what that one just did. This one, I'm just gonna pour some swirls and you wanna work kind of quickly. I'm pouring my paint, nail yeah, polish, whatever. I want that drip to go out. <laughs> and then you're gonna take a toothpick and kind of just do a few little swirls. You don't wanna mess it up too much, but you wanna give it that kind of marbly effect. And you can see already that the nail polish is starting to pick up on my uh, toothpick. That means that it is about time to go. <laughs> if you let it sit too long, it will harden too much and then it will uh, start to just pull up, which you don't want right away. I know I'm going a little fast, but you have to go kind of quickly. Then you're gonna take your bottle. I always like to put my finger here in the center. I like to go in at an angle too. And you just dip it down. And I like to push it down so it breaks away from the nail polish, if you can see that. And while you hold it under the water, you're gonna take your popsicle stick or your knife or your spoon, and you're gonna start pulling away that nail polish now that it's getting harder and it's starting to congeal. That film should just be easily able to be picked up and off your bottle. So now we have pretty clean water there. You guys hopefully saw how I did that. And then you're just gonna lift up and you have your bottle. And that's pretty much it. And then there's a cat. Oh, cat. <laughs> Go away. Thank you. 
what I'm gonna do, got to speed up the process, I'm gonna blow dry it real quick. So if you see, there's like a little spot up here. I kind of really don't like that spot. So once it's fully dry, I'll take um, a cotton swab or a paper towel with some nail polish remover, and I will just kind of wipe off that area. But for the time being, we're gonna just set it. To let it dry. <laughs> and then we do it again. I'm gonna do the just white one next. See how this turns out. Um, also, make sure you're well ventilated because, oh man, is this strong stuff. <laughs> so since this is just white, I'm not going to do a ton. I kind of wanted to have it that film feeling. Now we're going to spread it out a little bit. All right. I think I'm just going to go straight down this time and see what happens. Wish me luck. <laughs> And then, since it's just one color, I could easily just pull it back out. Which I might do. Right? Mm. Cool. Look at that. With the double. Alright, I'm gonna pull this one up here close. Hopefully, you guys can see this. So. This camera right here is taped to the chandelier in our like, the light picture in our dining room. And the light that it is attached to I just recently burnt out and I'm too lazy to change it. So hopefully you can see this. Uh, but you can see like here's the first level when I dipped down that lighter area and then when we brought it back up and it made that second level. So it's like double layered. Super cool. All right, then we're gonna clean up again. See how that just kind of films away. You can just reuse everything. Might have let this one sit too long. Ugh. <laughs> Look at that. That's not gross. I don't want to do green. I've done enough green. <laughs> Let's do blue. Purple, pink, and blue. That should look pretty. Remember, you want to work kind of fast because it will start to film over pretty quickly. That's so pretty. So this guy is dry. And that's the cool part is that it doesn't take long for it to dry. I'll just put this back on and this will become some kind of soap bottle, something in our house. Just so people don't think that I just randomly feel like I know what I'm talking about. That sounded really arrogant. I kind of know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I did go to school for art, um, art theory and color theory, and how your brain reacts to colors and seeing things, um, what makes your brain feel comfortable. You go to school for all that kind of stuff, so. This one's gonna go to my studio. We're gonna be doing calming scents in here, and I think I'm gonna do the natural reads. So here is our, here's my disclaimer. My disclaimer is that I don't know much about the topical use of essential oils or the ingestion of essential oils. So don't ask me about that. I don't use any of this. The only, I guess, topical that I do is I have a roller that I put on my wrists um, and on my neck for uh, when I go to sleep and I use it for aromatherapy purposes. I do fully believe in aromatherapy changing your mood. Um, I don't know how I feel about using essential oils as medicine. Um, I am a very science-based person. I love science. I totally believe in the power of medicine and how that helps you. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it to the pros for that kind of stuff. 
So, um, the star on your set badge, is this for you, Lupo, and your kid? It could be. Uh, it's also similar to the stars in Harry Potter. You're my favorite oil combos. Yes. So, lemon goes in everything, basically. I love lemon and orange together. Um, and then I'll usually put a little bit of eucalyptus. I love lemon and eucalyptus so much that I just got a lemon and eucalyptus blend. <laughs> uh, I love lavender and peppermint put together. It's very calming, but like a spa cleansing feel. Another disclaimer is some essential oils are not good for pets. Uh, citrus being one of them, peppermint being another, a lot of them are actually not good for pets. And so, um, with our pets, I diffuse just a little bit in a large area. So I have one diffuser that basically takes care of our whole entire main floor. For the studio, like I said, I want very calming scents. So I think I'll do lavender and rosemary. And usually what I like to do is take them and put them next to each other and start to smell them and to see how I feel about it. And I think that'll be real good. <laughs> um, on Pinterest is like my favorite place to look for blends as well. So right now I'm taking my almond oil and I'm gonna fill it up about a quarter to a third of the way full. And then we're gonna count 30 drops of each. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's a lot. That goes faster. Now it's slowing down. <laughs> and I'm going to take five because I like odd numbers. And then I'm just going to put your sticks in. Stir it around a little bit. And then what, what needs to happen is all this oil needs to be sucked up into the very top of your reeds. So you're going to let it sit for about an hour or so. And then you're going to take them and flip them over. And then the scent should be brought back again. So anytime that the scent starts to disappear, then you'll just flip your reeds over. I think they're really pretty. I'm excited to put this one in my office. This one goes in our bathroom, and this one will go into my studio. And it shouldn't be a strong scent. Just throwing that out there right now. It shouldn't be like you walk into the room and all of a sudden you're like, bam, there's the scent in your face. Um, it's meant to be a very subtle kind of like, so this is sitting on the counter between our sinks and every once in a while I catch a whiff of it, um, which, is, which is good. Uh, sometimes I'll take this and I will put it on the floor of the shower, like where the water doesn't hit. Um, so like right on the edge of the shower and the steam will kind of help it come into the air and stuff like that if i want to give it more like a spa feel uh but other than that it's not supposed to be like a super strong fills up a whole entire room kind of thing if you guys did the art project tonight uh please tag me on twitter or instagram or if you do it in the future remember the bot will be up in just a little bit and then it will be going up on youtube as well hopefully in the next week and See your awesome, awesome projects. Have a great night, everybody. I will